NeuroSolutions and the Neural Builder make it easy to build probabilistic neural networks, or better known as PNNs. A PNN is a modified version of the radial basis function that seeks to estimate the probability density function. The advantages of a PNN network versus a multilayer perceptron is that it generally trains faster and often produces more accurate models. In this video, we will create both a PNN and MLP network in NeuroSolutions and compare the results using a OCR data set, which is available on our website for download. Using the NeuroBuilder, we're going to choose the option for the RBF GRN PNN networks and press the next arrow. Browse to the location where you have your letter recognition.csv file that is also available on the website for download. And we want to tag the letter column as desired and symbolic. And then leave the rest at the inputs and press the arrow to continue. For this example, we're going to use 50% of the data for the data uh, for the testing set and continue on to the next screen. Next, we're going to check the box for regression probabilistic click the next arrow and finally let's go ahead and add a matrix viewer to the error criterion for the training set and also check the box for classification to see the confusion matrix press build next let's go ahead and move around some of these boxes so that we're able to see everything on screen alright so let's go ahead and run this network and get the results the active cost or the mean squared error is approximately 0 0.006 and as you can see with the confusion matrix that it, it, it did pretty well on each of the letters with around a 99.75% on T, 100% on I, 99.5% uh, on D, and so on. Now let's create another breadboard, but this time using an MLP network. So we're going to choose the multilayer perceptron, choose next, browse to the same file letter recognition not CSV and choose open. We're going to do the same thing for the letter column making it desired and symbolic. That's the next arrow. 50% of the data goes towards testing. And then we're going to go ahead and leave the defaults with a single hidden layer. With the hidden layer one using momentum and the output, output layer using the momentum learning rule keeping the default settings for the supervised learning then finally doing the same thing that we did for the PNN network adding a matrix viewer to the error criterion and also adding a confusion matrix for the classification problem again let's go ahead and clean up the window a little bit here so everybody can see everything Now let's go ahead and run the breadboard and get the results. As you can see, the breadboard takes significantly longer to train, so let's go ahead and speed up the video, video so that it will actually finish. So the multilayer perceptron took roughly six times longer to process and the results are worse, with an active cost or mean squared error of roughly 0.032 and you can plainly see that the confusion matrix and the train results of each individual letter are significantly less classified appropriately than what the PNN produced. Alright so we have our train networks let's go ahead and see how they perform on out of sample data. Let's go ahead and launch the testing wizard for the MLP network and we are just going to click through and use all of the default settings. 
looking at the active confusion matrix, uh, you can see that the numbers for the MLP are about as what the the, the trained one was, uh, with about 83.5% correct for T, 75% correct for I, 80% uh, correct for D, and it uh, gets worse as you continue down uh, through each individual letter. So now let's go ahead and bring up the PNN breadboard. and do the same thing. I'll run the testing wizard clicking through the uh, default settings clicking finish looking at the confusion matrix it roughly got 96.74% uh, correct to T 91.5% uh, correct for I 95% uh, correct for, for D and so on and continues to do well down the list of letters so if you're interested in PNN networks or other neural network topologies, please take a moment and download our free evaluation of NeuroSolutions at www.neurosolutions.com today.